Hello everyone, it's Metal Monster here, and we are back in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, today we are going to head to this quest. Let me just get it up for you. Gales of Guilt. The Gales of Guilt. And we're going to head over here. Apparently there was some sort of crime that's taken place or something like that. We'll figure this stuff out. So yeah, we're just going to march up there and investigate because I think we've done a few investigations before, haven't we? We've looked at things, we've deduced... Yes, we have. We did a a quest in Winterhold. Nope. Whiterun. Nope. <laughs> Windhelm. Uh, and we, uh, we got a... Well, we solved a crime, didn't we? We used our amazing deductive powers to locate a killer. And we saved, what I think we saved, we saved a high elf lady, didn't we? So, I think we did a great job. I think we did a great job. Now, we got to do more investigating. That's what I like, you know. I've, I, I consider myself a uh, addition inspector. Stupid dog. Then why are you traveling with it then? Right. Here we go. Oh, you managed to get a deer. Well done. Hello. Good. You came. There's a lot going on here. But we need to find things that corroborate with my father's version of what happened. Uh, okay. Are you sure that his story is accurate? What if the evidence says otherwise? That's partly why you're here. I need an objective witness with no stake in either side. Okay. Mm, what happened to the house? During the fight, a candle horn got knocked over. By the time the snow came, half the place was burned down, along with much of the evidence. Okay. How do you know the scene hasn't been tampered with? Not many people can find the place, to be honest, since it's not on any map. Oh. The only reason guards were able to arrest my father is because he was forced to spend the night in solitude. Okay. Well, let's proceed then. Of course. My father said he was cooking dinner when he heard a commotion outside. The trespassers must have shot down a deer. Smelling my father's dinner, they offered to share the venison in exchange for a drink and a warm fire. On this much, both sides agree. But out here you can never be too careful. My father demanded the strangers to leave the property and take the deer with them. The strangers were Oops. insulted. In hindsight, my father should have shown more tact. Nobody likes to be called a thief. Eventually things got heated and shots were fired. These arrows are proof of that. My father ran inside and got his axe. There was a fight near the hearth when one of them knocked over a candle horn. When the fire started, everyone, including my father, fled. Given how detailed my father was, I wouldn't be surprised if your findings match his story. Okay, they look like they do. There's, you know, there's a hearth here, there's... You know, bread here. Bloody bread. Some books are still around. Uh, Elder cheese. My father never liked hunting. Not at first, anyway. But he learned to love it, because he knew how much it meant to me. Part of me thinks this is all my fault. Had I wanted to stay in the city, he wouldn't be in this situation. But then I think back to all those times we spent together, and how much it meant to him. And I don't have the heart to take them away. Have you ever lost anyone close to you, friend? Uh, yes. And to answer your question, no, it never gets easy. I'm sorry. I should have known you've dealt with such grief, given how far you've come to help a stranger. But I shouldn't be grieving. I should be fighting. And with your help, we'll prove my father's innocence. Sure thing.
I don't think there's... It doesn't look like there's anything here. There's just... It does look like how he said. There's arrows. There's an axe. Just look like something went over and burnt the place down, really. What happened to your father? A few nobles from Solitude were out hunting and trespassed on my father's land. He mistook them for thieves and, well, things got bloody. One of the men was gravely injured. Now the other wants my father punished. Who attacked first? That's up for debate. But if these men were trespassing, it will certainly help his case. How does this document help this... your case? It proves my father had a right to be on the land. He signed a lease with one of the Jarl's old thanes back when she was in court. Who's Yngrid Farsky? A respected thane who moved to Hammerfell to help push back the Dominion. She owned the cottage and the plot of land my father leased, but they never made a contract, as Nord's word is strong as steel. But that isn't good enough in a trial. Thus we had to send word to Hammerfell to have her sign the papers. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, all seems to be right here, to be honest. Book, Wolf Queen, is there not like a... Uh... Oh, I haven't got the Great War book. I'll have to give that a read later. Cats of Skyrim. Beastery Hag Ravens. Yeah, Hag Ravens are not fun. But yeah, I'd say... I'd say your story is fine. Wooden plates. Two wooden plates, though. Tankard. There's nothing going against the... Uh, Salmon steak. I don't see anything wrong. I'd say he's probably innocent then. Looks like those arrows were fired. There's an axe there. It's dead venison there. I'd say so. Right, let's meet him at the... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, in Solitude. Right, we stayed in our house in solitude for a little bit. Had a meal and all that stuff, and now we're just gonna head to court then. Melloron, you lazy milk drinker. Have you finished studying the imports from Black Marsh? Some are Indeed, saying Sidic monks have been seen in Skyrim. For their armies. They're so an ancient order. Elven I material but poor workmanship. Like most of what we get. Hmm. A lot of talking going on. Let's see if we can prove this dude's innocence. I mean, I don't see any reason why he is not innocent. And for that reason, I here. think it would be a Come mistake on, to waste the Jarl's time any more than we already have. Further delay will not change I the swear, facts at hand. These seats are about as comfortable as mammoths. My Jarl, if I may, the witness I spoke of earlier has arrived. Given he's examined the scene of the altercation, I'd like to have him cross-examine Formir's testimony. Are you sure this witness of yours can be objective? I had the captain of the guard vet him, just as he did with your apothecary. It's a cursed itch. Huh. We shall see. For days. Formir, there's still time to end this folly. The lease agreement proves you are trespassing. I think it's clear to both you and the court that he cannot be held accountable for your injuries. My you it is very noble of this man to defend his father's honor, and for that, he should be commended. Unfortunately, his contention that we trespassed on his father's property is simply not true. It is not trespassing if the man invites you into his home. You mentioned something that would convince us. Please proceed. Thank you, Mayal. You see, my house Carl and I were hunting a deer when one of our stray shots happened to hit this man's cottage. Yeah. An unfortunate accident, but nothing particularly damaging to the woodwork. Many arrows were nowhere near the deer. Yeah? What were you really aiming for?
You are aware that deer are moving targets. The only thing I'm guilty of is poor aim. Ah, uh, damn. Now, if you'll allow me to continue, my yarn. After the arrow hit the cottage, this man's father came Steward, bursting through the door. when is my appointment to meet with General Tullius? We apologize Tullius. for the disturbance. There are some issues to make we amends, must speak about. We offer to share the venison. I am afraid him. he's had to he reschedule my grace. And beckoned we come inside. By all accounts, Naturally, we were pleased to get out of his cold. Every moment. My companion took to skinning the deer Again? while I perused a nearby bookshelf. simply bookshare. cancel an appointment with a yard. I remember this he part serves clearly in my city. because I was pleased to I'm find my favorite series, The Wolf Queen, on the top shelf. comes from the Emperor, who you also serve, technically. In fact, I had just opened the book to the first page when I heard my companion scream. This hardly seems fair. Fair is a word rarely applied to politics, my grace. I'm afraid you must learn to accept this. Hmm. Top shelf. No, they were... I think they were alphabetical, weren't they? I did see the Wolf Queen, but it was it was at the bottom. You don't know that. You weren't even there. Besides, maybe he simply forgot to put the book back on the shelf. All I know is, that's how it happened. I would not lie in front of the Jarl. In any case, as I was saying, I heard my companion scream behind me. I turned around, only to see your father had struck him with his axe. Liar! Calm yourself. I let him tell his version. Please allow me the same courtesy. Ah, fine. The, the axe when was I in the house. My companion, I acted on reflex. I wrestled the assailant to the ground and told my friend to flee. At that point, I was certain I was going to die. I was fumbling about trying to find a weapon or perhaps a miracle. My hands found a candle horn. I threw it at my attacker and missed wildly, but when it struck the wood, the cabin lit up like a bonfire. And the fire is what allowed me to escape. And with that, I conclude my testimony. It is my belief that this man's father attacked us without provocation. What I ask for is not vengeance, my all, but for justice. But whatever you decide, I will humbly accept your judgment. Thank you. That was amazing. You buried him with his own lies. It was fun watching him try and dig his way out. Barring any surprises, I'm sure Elisif will rule in our favor. Now what? If it pleases the court, I would like to introduce some new evidence regarding our witness's character, which I have just obtained by a courier. Very well. Thank you, my Yarl. I do not wish to alarm anyone here, but I believe this information may very well compromise the integrity of our chief witness. Hey. What are you up to, Formir? Explain yourself! It is not I who has to explain myself. After all, you are the one who attested to the impartiality of this witness. A witness who works for the shipping company that delivered the lease agreement. Ah. Uh. A ship, I remind you, that lies at the bottom of Pilgrim's Trench. Could it be the document is a forgery meant to save this company's <laughs> reputation? Oh, come on now, Formir. Now you're just grasping at straws. You've clearly lost. Be thankful you and your companion escaped with your lives. Curse you. I will do no such thing. My honor demands justice. I request a trial by combat. Now why what? would I do that? I'm not going to risk my father's life when the Jarl is minutes away from granting him a pardon. Huh. I thought for sure you would take that bait. But I won't stand here and give you the satisfaction of winning this trial. I'm dropping the charges. Your what? But why? What's your game? Simple. If I allow Elisif to rule in your favor, that means I'll have to defy her will to get my way. You're a stubborn fool, Formir. But fine. I'd rather not leave it up to the Jarl either. Then we're agreed. I apologize for wasting the court's time. We will handle this matter internally. Good. You're dismissed. Why, Julianus, you did it. You saved my father's life. Yeah. For now, Formia doesn't seem like he's let this go. <laughs> Make sure he clears my name in his will. I did nothing. The truth was won that day. Yeah, probably just 
Keep an eye on that. Yes, and the fact that the Jarl never made a decree means that there will be no record of this trial. Still, it will be a while before it's forgotten, and time will only weaken in this case. What will you do now? We celebrate! I'm sure the first night outside of the dungeon, even the tavern will feel like Sovereign Guard itself. As for you, here. It's a piece of armor that saved my own life more times than I care to count. It may not be better than what you have, but it's important to me that you have it. Now, I'm off to meet my father. I didn't have anything specific planned, but I'll just order a pint of mead and let it take care of the rest. Okay. That was a nice little diversion, wasn't it? That was alright. At least we helped a man in need and cleared his father's name. Yadda yadda yadda. Now we need to follow a ghost. Maybe we should head back into the... Uh, what do you call it? The Fellowship of the Fighters. We've done them. We, we've done that before. Um, probably should head. Investigate the sky. Let's do that. Let's have a look at that. Whatever that is. Ah, miserable weather. I, keep, I was getting really hungry in the. Uh, oh, that's not cooked. Really hungry in the court. I kept on seeing uh, my stomach rumble. Right. So. Oh my word! It's all the way down there. I guess we have to go all around, maybe. Something like that. Black Barrier Lodge. The Shadowstone. Follow the ghost. I guess we could do that too. Let's see. What all the. Beyond death, we do need to do need to figure that out in the Shall we give that a go? We've leveled up a few times. We've got good equipment still. We're we're not wearing the Dorbin armor we're we wearing. All right. Yeah, let's let's give going back to the uh, the soul Karen. We'll do that. Right, let's see how we fare again now. Now, we are weakened within here, but at the same time, I do feel like we've learnt a lot, a decent amount of things. Now, what's the closest one to us? In this one, let's enable the that so we can find Arvax's skull somewhere. So we can go through here and then search along here. Don't want to be in, in this place for as long as we have to. I don't like the feeling of being weakened. It is such a strange place. Ugh. Right, where's the brick in the wall? Oh, there it is. Very strange place. Hopefully, well, I think everyone's got a potion in a bit, haven't they? So. Let's drop a save here. And I've got quite a few potions and stuff, so. an Arvac, but now it's disappeared. Well, that's taken care of. Wow, you kicked my ass. that thing again. Something 
that drains me really quickly. Right, let's get stamina going and a faint one there. Come on, I need stamina to hurry up and... There's another one coming. Okay, that's not good. Oh! Right from behind. So yes, we are not ready for uh <laughs> for the soul Karen, are we? Crap. I really want to get that done. I don't know what kind of... You know, what else do we need to do? Hmm. Just need, like, a super we weapon or something. Or we need really, you know, an enchanted armor of Daedric or something like that. These mist things are just really difficult to kill. Hmm. We'll have to do something else then. So I've decided to sort of hop on Frosty and head towards that sky shadow crypt or something. So we're heading there. Hopefully we can make it. Uh, I'm not too sure where it is, to be honest. We'll find it. I believe it's somewhere up here. Like, far away. It's that secretive that it doesn't have a map marker. Well, that it the map doesn't even follow it. So, we're just going to ride along until we see something. Just a random burn down place. Random shack. Oh, hello. Hello, traveler. You look tired. Perhaps Strobar can assist. Uh, how is that? For starters, he has ten bottles of mead with your name on them. Well, they will. As soon as he finds a pen. <laughs> In an unrelated question, do you have a pen he can borrow? I am a daughter of Skyrim. I love this land. I don't care whose name is on the bottle, just give it me. Of course. Probar does not know how the law works, but he has always written his name on all his things. Huh. In any case, he has your meat somewhere in one of these piles. Hmm. Can I get a tour of the place? Of course. Right this way. Over here are some rare plates he found in a fort. They are made of a special wood that comes from trees. Very valuable in Valinor. This is a kettle full of wine bottles. They used to be full of wine, but a high elf came by one day and wrote her name on all of them. But they are still valuable for the glass. Very good material for making windows. <laughs> Over here is where Drobar keeps his torches and pitchforks. Very handy if you want to start the rebellion. <laughs> Lastly, this is where Drobar sleeps and keeps a record of his belongings. He would move the piles of burnt wood, but he is not sure if they belong to another. Drobar cannot tell if there are names on them. 
Thank you for the tour. You have a lovely home. <laughs> you are most welcome. Drobar has lived a blessed life. It is only right that he share it. Drobar would even offer you his most treasured secrets, if his memory could recall what it was. Is there anything I can do to help you remember? Perhaps if you help Drobar find his lucky gold coin. That always helps him remember the important things. Where would that be? In here? I'd rather not. Alright, good good luck, my friend. You have a lovely home. Remind me to play that quest for my Oh wait, this is a Come back here. Ah. I think we gotta head up there. Is someone there? Here we go. Sky Shadow Crypt. What an interesting name. Got a similar door to Bleak Falls Barrow, I believe. Oh, it's dark. Might be dealing with on there. Slain all your partners. That's rude. Not all of them. Still one to fight right in front of me. Your claws are long and sharp, but our time will have to wait. All the better to savor it before it comes. Okay. First, I must take down my old mentor. And to do that, I need to sharpen my own claws. Okay. What is this place? A sanctuary for the ghosts of the Akavir. My mentor once spoke of it in passing. Now all those ghosts have passed. It seems one of these ghosts was a greedy one. He had two legendary blades, a way where the others would be blind to his duplicity. Okay. Why are you here? Why else, imbecile? To hunt my old mentor. Yet he continues to elude me, as does his stance. <laughs> That's funny. Idiot. Why do I even waste my breath speaking to you? This is not about a name or some fool's sense of glory. I seek perfection. Knowledge. Power. Tell me about these swords you seek. One is as light as a feather, and as fast as the arrow it fletches. Mm. Its edge doesn't appear to be as fine, but that's deliberate. A light blade with an edge is brittle, and this sword is as sturdy as it is swift. Mm. The other is as sharp and as piercing as a confession. Heavy for an Akaviri sword, a blade meant to ward off blows and struck with force. Both are life and death incarnate. 
one knows not which role they play. These are the perfect weapons to slay my mentor once more. Do you mind if I talk to the priest? Not at all. Speak with your equal, Patron Balls of Yarn. I have two swords to fetch. Hey, stay quiet and follow me. She has two swords already. Yeah, better web. Uh, it's all over my helmet now. This place is uh, something else. Very big and windy and oh, treasure. Anything decent? Hello. What the heck? Jeez Louise, mate. What the... What was that? Alright, let me just... Stay quiet and follow me. Well, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm still following you. Hopefully you're going to talk to me. That, that was... You just threw off that priest's corpse. Well, how did... did were you possessing it by the... By the sounds of it, I think you were. Possession is not very nice. Really should know that as a blade. Although I don't know what blades know. You have arrived at last. Do not be alarmed. This pilgrim gave his body in service to the gods, as was his desire. Okay, too late. I'm alarmed. I'm talking to the ghost of a man who just died. I doubt his desire was to die in this place. It seems to the gods didn't care much for his service. Bless his soul and guide it to Aetherius. May he find peace in the immortal coil. Thank you for the prayer. I am pleased to see the messenger I have been given is a person of faith. Um, you said I arrived at last. You're expecting me? I have. Ever since my death, I have been waiting for you to come. Waiting for a sign. Then today, you enter on the heels of my pupil. This is no coincidence. Truly, the gods are great. Okay. Then let us both fulfill our service to the divines. Well said, my young disciple. For when we ignore the teachings of the divines, we throw ourselves in a pit of despair. In life I made one such mistake. And while the gods will not rescue me, in you they offer a rope so that I may climb the walls of redemption. Forgive me, where are my manners? My name is Garrett. I am Zavashni's former master and steward of the Way of the Nine. How does... Uh, oh, well, okay. What exactly is this place? Who can say? It belonged to the Needs at one point, and the Akavir at another. As such, the ghosts of Akmora and Akavir roam these halls. It is the latter with which my pupil has quarreled. She thinks that facing me once more would afford her a second opportunity to learn the stance of R.K. Is she right? Yes and no. Technically it will grant her the opportunity she desires. Yet without faith, even a million opportunities are as good as none. The stance of R.K. is based on instinct and flow and the rivers of life and death. It cannot be understood without first understanding the gods. 
Okay. Why is uh, the Gajit failed to inherit the way of the nine? The eight came easily enough. It is the ninth that eludes her, and it is little mystery why. Contrary to her belief, it is not about whether one can overcome their fear of death, nor is it about embracing fear in order to value one's life. If it were derived from such platitudes, no doubt she would have long since mastered it already. No, the stance of our is a technique that requires an understanding of the divines. You see, everything from the air we breathe to the ground under our feet is governed by Arke's influence. In combat, the rivers of life and death flow into a single current, and only one who yields to Arke's will can know where they part. Savashni thinks of the religious and the practical as two separate planes. At no point did she consider they can be wielded as one. Oh. That's cool, I have no more questions. To end the life of my disciple, and to demonstrate to her the power of the divines. To accomplish that, you must endure what she would not. Only through the pilgrimage of the divines can you prove your worth. When you have walked the supplicant's road, then you will be ready to inherit the stance of our okay. Okay. I guess that will be your sword in life and her guide to death. Well said, young disciple. Now, on to the matter of the pilgrimage itself. Uh, when I spoke to her, uh, Savani thought that she detected a pattern in the stance. That is wishful thinking on behalf of my pupil. She wishes to believe she is close, when she couldn't be more far. Mm. My hope was that in our fateful battle, she would experience a divine intervention, as these pilgrims do when the end draws near. If she failed to embrace the Divine's teachings, she would die by my hand. Such is her skill that this is the outcome we endure. You too will face a similar test, but you do not have to do it alone. I need you to receive the blessing of eight warriors of the Divines. Together you will be able to see the rivers of life and death flow through your stars but only as long as the nine of us are bound to your will. Such is the consequence of shortcuts, but we do not have the time for the long road. How do I walk the Subbicant's road? First, you must find a brute of Talos, a warrior whose very breath is a declaration of war. Huh. Second, the embrace of Mara. Only one who fights for love will burn the embers. Third, the mercy of Stendar. Claim the warrior whose very weapon is forbearance. Fourth, a tear of Kinnereth. Seeks the one who walks amongst the beasts and gives life to the soil. Fifth, a mind of Julianos. Only one whose intellect is sharp as my blade will pass this test. Sixth, a mark of Debella. Find one whose beauty is profound enough to melt a heart of steel. Seventh, a scale of Zenithar. Seek the aid of one who fights for coin and tip the scales toward your victory. Lastly, the judge of Akatosh. Only a warrior who claims lordship over the realm of time will light the path. When you have been blessed by eight who are worthy, and the eight flames are lit, then I will stand as the ninth. Now go, my young disciple, and keep the gods in your heart. Oh. 
Okay. Very interesting. Do we have to wail through this water here? We have got to meet a lot of people. Hopefully they're all marked on our map. Well, it's going to take a long time to get through. Let's have a gander. Assess the vigilant of Stendhal. Oh, is Stendhal speaking over there, right? Receive Mara's embrace. Yeah, it's all around Skyrim, isn't it? There's two in solitude. Pay off the Merc of Xenanthar. Find the wisdom of Julianos. Okay. Well, we can get the Standar one first, right? That's the only quest we've got active right now. Yeah. Hey, Serana. Oh, I need to re-enchant this. It's been drained. Um, there we go. Probably need to find more soul gems, to be honest. I'm thankful that one of the, the quests is not find Julianus' or Mara's lucky coin. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, no. We're going to take a long time to search that. Is it this way and up that way? It might be. I'll head around this way. Feels like that elevates up. Oh, that tree came out of nowhere. Here we go. Is this Dendor's beacon? Is. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Ah. The mercy of Stendhal does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Hi, Baron Yanye. Halt. You approach the vigilant of Stendhal. State your business. Um. Uh, I have come seeking your aid. I apologize, but I cannot and will not abandon the vigilance at this hour. War is upon us. I can only hope that those at the Hall have prepared themselves. I'm sorry the Hall of the Vigilance was burned asunder. Then Stendar have mercy upon us all. Tell me about this war you mentioned. We came here on rumors that a Dawn God was forming and found scant evidence as to why. Keeper Carset saw no reason to pursue it further. Yeah, that's correct. Nevertheless, she sent a few of us to scout the, the rift. Woodlands here remind me of home. In the event any oh, leads Sarah turned dear. up, I, do miss I was on my way here when I was assaulted by four Nightwalkers. I would not be alive if not for a chance encounter with my old Dalmar friend Jorulith. Her magic is still formidable, and her politics still reprehensible. Thankfully, on that day, I only needed one. Okay. Perhaps I can lend a hand. Then you must look elsewhere. I make no bargains. If you ah. truly wish to lend a hand, then commit yourself to the order. Only then can... Vampires. To arms! Vigilance! Rend them all to dust! I've got you in my possession. <laughs> Oh dear. I have contracted vampirism. Come on then, just a taste. Ah, nice. Saving mid combat. You've seen your luck. Okay, let's get a. Uh, a potion of surpassing, probably. That's probably a good. Storm. I will. Night. Yow! 
Oh no. Ooh. Ouch. Harvest blood, sure thing. Stamina regenerates faster. How many boots of bravery you take less damage from? Okay. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Creates a light zone. I'll take them. Alright, let's have a check. Uh, that's that's all right. What do my so bashing? I don't really bash enough. Well, that would be a good idea. Does that make my sword? How much more is my sword now? Oh, 28. Nice. And that's 500 odds. So that's good. So slightly more powerful now. Lucien. Come over here. How are you doing, my friend? All right. Of course. Maybe a stamina regen thing might be better than the additional armor. Because I still got a thousand, and then I could take it somewhere to get. Boots of bravery. You take 20% damage from power attacks and bashes. Hmm. Got extreme stamina there, so I need that. I should really take those home. Let's go. Hey. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any danger, and we will hunt you down. Hold on. I am cured already. Uh, there Goodbye. We go. Make it quick. Oh, light to kill me. Stendar's light purify you of your ills. Thanks. The vigil will be watching you. Farewell. Okay. I've assisted the vigilant, but nothing seems to be happening. stuff. Let's just wait for a little, uh, maybe wait for an hour or two. Maybe that was a thing? That that was... You fought valiantly, adventurer. I am in your debt. As you have proven yourself to walk in the light, then perhaps I was wrong to deny your request. What exactly is this task you speak of? I am on a pilgrimage to one of the divines and require Stendor's blessing. Yes, it seems the gods shine their gaze upon you, and Stendor could have very well brought you here, so that I may drag your foes into the light. You have my attention, pilgrim. What is it you ask of me? A blessing. Then you will have it, pilgrim. Walk always in the light. I don't want to, you know. Cool. Is that one down right? Yes. Nice. Quite a few more to go, though. Eight, to be exactly. Right, I guess let's head to uh, Riften. Right, we're in beautiful Riften. Getting the blessing of Mara. I was going to say Debal, but that's not. I imagine the Debal is in a uh, in Markarth, right? Make it quick. All praise be to Mara. Death to those who turn away from her embrace. All right, cancel that. I am a fellow Grim, uh, Grimlin, <laughs> pilgrim. Um, have you come to pray at the shrine? I have. As should all. Okay. 
What are you doing, Grimrefton? I have come to pray and ask for forgiveness. I have killed in Mara's name, slain those who have broken the sacred vow. If I have erred in doing so, I ask Mara for her mercy. Okay. Would you lend your service to Mara in another capacity? I'll consider it. But if it's passing out Dinya's letters, then rest assured. I already do. I am on a pilgrimage to gather the blessings of the design, divines. Then perhaps you are the forgiveness I seek. Very well. I will help you on your pilgrimage. Thanks. All I need is a blessing, nothing more. Understood. Mara, protect us both. Thank you. This whole thing is pretty easy. No slaying, no killing, no. Elder Glee. I reckon that's in the. Okay. Find the mark of the bella. Okay, we'll give that a go. We'll head over there now. Right, we're looking for the mark of the bella in the Elder Glee? It is a place of beauty. I don't think I have Nettlebane, so hopefully I don't have to run all the way up there. I hear some strange noises outside just. We probably should investigate that. Don't see that every day. You don't, it's a beautiful place. Hello. Need something? Yes. Uh, would you seek? Would you speak for Debella in a trial of the Divine of the Nines? That sounds vital. And Debella has chosen me to be her champion. What an honor! I'll need to get my hair done and my armor polished. I need to look my best. Oh gods! What if my best isn't good enough? What if there's someone else prettier? What do the others look like? Mm, it's not a con. It's not a contest of beauty. There once was a hero named Ragnar, I'm a soldier of Debella. Everything is about beauty. What will they say if I'm uglier than Mara? You're always welcome to follow. But right now, I need your blessing. Okay, I accept on both counts. Just say the word and I'm right behind you. Until next time. Cool. Got a blessing of Debella. Right, let's check out the next person. The Brute of Talos. Imagine he's a hefty Nord, right? Big, strong, hefty Nord with a big axe. Because Talos is the god of man, right? So I imagine he would... He'd help the Nords? Wait. Or an Imperial. I don't know. Maybe just a strong warrior. Of any kind of race or creed. We'll see. Now, what was this noise outside here? Oh. A bright orange dragon. You know what, guys? Let's... Let's do it. You know, let's... Kill as a dragon. We haven't killed a dragon at all. And people are talking about it. Oh, an ancient dragon. An ancient sun dragon. Okay, get behind something. God, it's definitely an a, a, a sun dragon. It's so bright. Careful, gang. Oh, 
Oh. Ouch. Ow. Well, that's not good, is it? I'm actually fighting a dragon. This is real, not a nightmare. Ow, 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 ow. My god. Not a nightmare. Okay, I need a remarkable potion. Stat. Oh crap. Right, if a dragon won't land, then... Oh! Okay. Okay, let's try and kick its ass. Oh my word, it just keeps firing fire at us. This is in your day. Oh, it just burns. There it go. How is it so accurate? My pro my fire resistance is probably gonna wear off soon. Um, did I have another one? Frost fire. I don't have a fire resistant potion, so this is not gonna go well. <laughs> yep, it's worn off now. So oh. Not the best one to fight so early. Uh, no. Right, let's retreat, shall we? You win this round, dragon. Oh my god, it just, it just keeps coming. And it just keeps beaming down still. Guys, help us. Help me. Um, oh. Oh, no. Here we go. Ooh, <laughs> After a good think, guys, I think we better avoid dragons. Don't you think that's like a, a clever thing to do? So yeah, we'll head to the next guy, which is in Windhelm. Let's check it out. Right, we've made it to Windhelm. Maybe I should uh, go to the, what do you call it? The White Vial one too, something like that. And we probably should investigate there. Just to get some more potions, I guess. I'm getting out of here. Get him. Kill him. What's going on? Huh? 
bested me. What's going on? Hello, Puck. What's going on? That sounds like a dragon somewhere. Oh, great. Mind yourself. A magma dragon. Level 75. Nice. Uh, being attacked by a dragon. Gods. Right, let's head towards the guards, I guess. That'll be a good idea, right? Where to go? Ah! Come on, men. We gotta ha try and handle this dragon. Okay, we've got a battle mage of some sort. Oh god, he died quickly! Oh, whoa, okay, ow, ow, ow. Have we not got a... Yep. Apply that, and then apply the fire. Oh. Nice, guys. We got it. We're getting him down. This is real. I'm actually fighting a dragon. This is real. Not a nightmare. This is real. Not a nightmare. <laughs> Oh my gods, we, we've got this. We just need to, for him to land again. Oh. Come on! He's dead. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Ha ha ha! Oh, it's spinning away. What is going on? What have I just done? The Greybeards, then. Sounds intriguing. If they can tell us anything more about that shouting business, I'd say it's worth the trip. Okay. Hello there. Sure, I'll carry what I can. So I'm heading to the Greybeards, you say? Okay, I'll do that. What did that... You're literally full now, aren't you? Okay. I've got your back. What the? That was the Greybeards, wasn't it? Couldn't ask for better weather. 
Wow, okay. What can I do for you, friend? Well, well we just fought a dragon. And now i have being gifted with some sort of whatever the hell has just happened. Woo! We killed the dragon! Go team! Team us! Yep. Go us! Lead on, then. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's all right. Go ahead. Load me up. Can I not place anything else with you? God, I'm so full. Let's so, get back to it. I wonder where Serana is. One lives for the things he's willing to die for. You know what? For the time being, I'm just going to use a carry away potion. All right, let's pop a healing potion. Wow. Glory. Oh, we just killed a dragon. That was hard. Thank God we had the uh, the guards with us, because that was tough. Right, let's head back to... Uh... Well, let's just heat up for a little second and have some food would be a good idea. It went better than the other dragon. Uh, but yeah, we actually killed it. That was surprising. They didn't expect that. Come on, just need the last of the heat. We could actually heat up in what here. What can I do for you, friend? I want to activate the door, that's all. Definitely need to pack more. So, like, fire would be a good... Resist fire potion would be pretty good. A bunch of them. So we got to... We've got to figure that out. Got to get better at alchemy. Fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy regions. Hey. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Take a look. Right. Hopefully, so you have healing potter, poultice, and stuff like that. What about five grand to play with? So let's find a resist fire. Yes. God, they're expensive. You never know with dragons now, can you? Might be frost dragons, and probably magical resistance too. But we don't have enough for that money right now. Can I sell anything to you? I can. I'm probably not clean enough, actually. Right, then. Thank you. Am I bloody at all? Let's have a look. Somewhat dirty and... Oh, yeah. Quite bloody, yeah. I don't want my... Excuse me, but I'll just wash your counter. When I'm round here, I'll, I'll take my helmet off. Oh, never mind. People on the roads and cities means less commerce. Less commerce means less money and more starving people. And that means... More crime. Yeah, it's never a good thing, this. That's not. There we go. We're nice and clean now. I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. Right, we'll. Oh, yeah, we could sell those I have gems too. mind for potions. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes. Okay, we got some money back from that. Um, what else could we sell you? Anything interesting? Could sell you that. Yeah, just take all these, actually. I don't care about... We could probably frame that somewhere. All right, then. I understand what potions do. Take a look. Good, you understand what potions do. Now, give me them. Uh, cleansing. Um, don't want that one. Guess we could. Yeah, do we want four to five? We don't really need four to five. Uh, I suppose we could actually. 
may give us an edge. Stamina, definitely needs stamina ones. As much as we can, really. Resist good magicka, yes. We got uh, no fortify two hands? Okay. Block. We don't need a block. Poison. Hmm. We're good with poultices, aren't we? Thank you. That was a good little bit. We have probably need to sort out our potions now. Let's have a gander at it, eh? I like this music. Resist the fire and stuff. Resist magic, shock. We could. We probably need the resist um, frost for the cold harbor creatures because they're uh, they're tough. What was that noise? Anyway, let's find the, uh... Oh, probably should pray. It has been... Has it been a little while since we prayed? Yeah. I believe he's outside on the docks, right? He ran away, so, uh... Mingawuri of Talos might be, uh... Might be... You know, tell us my mind, I rethink. Right, let's see the potion. Oh, we could just throw on a poultice. That'll slowly heal us over time. There he is. I think his name is Puck, right? Have you ever hated someone so much you just wanted to bite out his eyes? I've never known a less friendly city. That's when you know you hate a man. Let's not I mean, stay. really, really hate him. You can punch someone in the throat. You can even make them wear your dagger like a hat. But nothing is as wrong, as pure as using your teeth. Yeah. Your teeth, huh? I ought to try that sometime myself. Yeah, it's good for the soul, trust me. Just thinking about it brings a smile to my face. Who is this man you despise? Gabriel. Just saying his name makes me want to take a pair of hot pliers and twist off his nose. Oh, okay. Why do you hate him so much? He's a snitch. Told the guards about the bandits I used to run with before he hired me. But even after I served my time, he's had to toss me in the dungeon on some trumped up charge. Now he's got the whole city thinking I'm some killer. And if you say something enough times, people start believing it's true. We used to be friends. I thought we were brothers. When he snitched to the god, he became something else. An enemy. Even a rat's death is too good for him. I want to hook my hands into the corner of his mouth and tear off his face from his skull. Oh, wow, okay. All right, you're... Uh... Why did you do this? He has a thing for one of the guards. She has a thing for me. But that ain't a good reason why. Because there ain't no good reason for what he's done. But what he's done, it's reason enough for what I'll do to him. I'm going to nail his hand to the table, and then bend back his thumbs until they pop right off. I'll press my elbow against his throat, get real close, so he can smell the stink on my breath. And then I'll chew off his eyes like a couple of hard-boiled eggs. Okay. All right. Don't you get it? It's because I can't. I kill him, I become exactly what he says I am. He dies, they all think it was me. The worst part is, if I want to keep my head, I have to make sure he stays alive. Ah. Um, why not try blessing a person instead? I'm in need of your help. Blessing? I mean, like a priest? Yes. Exactly. 
This quest calls for a brute priest. By the hist, you're serious. You've got the wrong guy, stranger. I know it sounds unlikely, but humor me. <laughs> All right. I guess it couldn't hurt my reputation. People seeing me as a priest of bloody towels. Here, have it. A bloody blast. Blast of Talos. Oh, he went up. <laughs> That's good. Right. Where's the next dude? Oh, yeah, we need to receive the blessing. Um, yeah. Kenareth. Where would Kenareth be? Falkreath. Okay. And Akatosh is somewhere over there. Okay. When Windhelm, we could probably head to. Uh, well, it's two in solitude. Maybe we we'll get that done first. Right. Yeah. Let's head to solitude. So we'll grab a carriage there. Right. I think he's in here. I hope so. Must be up here, eh? Hello! Hey, brother. You look thirsty. Tell you what, you give me a thousand gold pieces and I'll buy you a drink. How about no? Sounds like a horrible deal. Well, that's because you didn't let me finish. You get more than a drink. You get a tough son of a bitch like me by your side. I actually need to hire you for a specific job. Yeah? It might cost you extra, depending on how dangerous it is. Hell, make it dangerous enough and it might cost you less, but it'll still cost. All I need is your blessing, not your blade. Well, I'd almost do it for free, except I don't know what that word means. If I had to take a guess, it means 1,200 septums. I'm not paying you that. I'll give you 200 final offer. You got yourself a deal. And don't worry, you're getting the better end of it. Ah, because he's the, uh, the god of commerce, isn't he? Ah, of course you'd choose a dude like that. Swindle me out of every septum I have. Hey, how you doing, Yaga? Right. Apparently there's another guy over here. Wisdom Julianos. Definitely need to look at the Greybeards. So we probably do that and then soon. Is this the door? Look between oh. the trap. Hello? Are you lost or just stupid? Well, I don't hope it's not you I've got to talk to. I am sick of this land. Poor misery cannot compare to the beauty of If you of see Alamore. any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. Oh, save him. Do you have business with the Dominion? No, I need the blessing uh, of one who embodies Julianus. Ah, flattery. A tool of both the unctuous another. and the earnest. The question is, which are you? Or, to put it more simply, what do you really want? If it is a blessing you desire, then you are in the wrong building. Such divinations are performed by priests at the altar. Skyrim's crawling like Priests are dedicated, but I seek those who carry the divine spirit. I see. It is without question that I possess an intellect far superior to any mere mortal of the cloth. If all you require is my blessing, then I see no harm in doing so. Nevertheless, I would be remiss if I did not request something in return. Uh, what is it you want from me? I would like to be escorted to the Thalmor Embassy. 
Surely in your company, the ruffians outside will not make trouble. Fine, let's go. Excellent. Let us depart immediately. I do need that blessing, so I guess I've got to help this guy for a little bit. Are you lost or just stupid? Lost. That's what I am. I'm not stupid. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Let's. I wonder if there's a potion that could help me kill dragons faster. Might be something. I hope that dude's following me right now. Yes. Uh, so where we got to head to? Thalmor Embassy. Would you be so kind to tell me where it is? Do you have business with the Dominion? Very well. Um, uh, I'm not too sure where it is. I guess I'll just have a look. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Good. <laughs> nah, I don't think that was the correct response. Oh well. Thalmor Embassy. I might have seen a sign. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. All for sale at fair prices. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm clothes. Oh, there once was a Should be taking the war to the dragons. Because they're a big threat. They just attacked uh, Windhelm. I mean, of course, managed to defeat him and absorb some power from it. So that's pretty cool. Come on, Wolfie. Come on. Why do they always run? Come on. Come here. Oh, I just had a reach. Yeah, you're lucky that I'm heading this way. It was a stupid wolf. Found it. Guess we just gotta wait for that dude. Okay, companions. How may I be of service? Very well. Guess I'm taking it straight to the gate. We have arrived. A pleasant surprise, all things considered. Now to fulfill my part of the bargain. I give you the blessing of Julianos. May his wisdom guide you on your quest. Thank you. As for myself, I have an urgent meeting with Ellen when I must attend to. Will someone please come to the gate? Do not let my appearance dissuade you. I am a Thalmor Justitia. Hello? Anyone? Well, I don't think they're going to help him at all. I thought you were like an assassin and waiting in shadow for me then. Right, shall we check out the next person? Ah yeah, down in Falkreath, isn't it? I guess we'll head to this one first. Yeah. Let's do that. Right, been running around the forest for a little bit. Elk 
Alchemist. Somewhere down here, I think. I couldn't do it, Yorick. She was right there in front of me. I begged if to give me courage, and still it wasn't enough. Gods forgive me. I couldn't do it. Even if it had to be done. I don't care what she's become. It's not fair to ask a child to slay her own mother. Oh jeez. What, what are you doing here? Uh, last time I checked, you didn't own the forest. Um, what happened to your mother? I was supposed to slay her. The hunters, they said she was killing their own. You can talk to me. Tell me what happened. It was easy for me to track the blood. There was so much of it. And the forest was so angry. I could hear the insects beat their wings like a thousand tiny drums. When I reached the barrow, I saw something. It was bigger than any creature I'd ever seen. I managed to wound it, but when it came time for the killing blow, I... I couldn't. Somehow, I knew it was still her. So I ran. When I returned, the hunters stormed off into the woods to finish the job. I don't know what they expected of me. I couldn't hurt her. How could anyone? Then why did you agree to it? I had to. She was my responsibility. But I couldn't. The hunters, the gods, they gave me a chance to make things right. And I failed them. Do you think... Do you think she's dead? I still hope. Let's see what I can find out. Where is this barrow? The roadside ruins. That's where I dropped my bow. If you find it, I'd like it back. But if you forgive me, I pray you don't find anything else. Uh... I need a, a blessing. Do you get many travelers in this part? None that bothered to stop. Although, there was that Nord from Riften who spent the night. Oh. Spent the night? Interesting. Oh, no, nothing like that. <laughs> he was a wanderer that didn't know heads from tails. I think his name was Hagrani? Ha or something close to that. Did this Nord have any good stories to tell? He did. But I'm warning you, you won't like how I tell it. Okay. I'm sure... Oh, you're right, I probably wouldn't. You don't have to be so mean. Sorry. Right, I guess we're just doing this quest first off. Uh, it's not far from us. Matter of fact, we've already done it before. Mm -hmm. Bone dog. Uh, hunters seem to be dead, and there's her bow. Just head back now. That was easy. I did kill that uh, thing already. Hold the phone, I've been attacked by uh, 
pack of wolves. That's enough out of you. Oh. Hold on. Let me clear them. I feel like I need to learn more about my heritage. Stop being a city girl. Okay. He did. But I'm okay, okay. The tale I've just gotta skip this because no. yeah. Wait. Somehow I doubt that. But uh, thanks. Did the wolves break her? Does she need to head back? Let's just get her to uh, head back to the fire, maybe? Maybe I'll return to Solitude at some point. I feel like I need to learn more about my heritage. Yeah, it bowls it up. Right, let's do that again then. And then we'll meet you back. And my mother? Let's just wait a second. And my mother? Maybe I'll return to Solitude at some point. None that bothered to stop. Although, true. He did. Is it broke but again? You, you won't like how I tell it. That's pretty annoying. My mother's spirit is in this bow. He did. Okay. I'll yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's great stuff. No. I am in need of Wait. a bow. Somehow I doubt that. He did. But I'm more. All right. Let's see if we can just pass the time. You won't like how I tell it. I feel like I need to learn more about my heritage. Maybe a little bit more time. Stop being a city girl. This is getting annoying. And my mother? Dead as a doornail. Come on, work. It worked before, not long ago. There we go, no trace of her unless you count all the blood and gore. Then she must have escaped. Maybe the gods haven't abandoned her yet. You mentioned the bow was important to you. When my mother lived in Valenwood, she came across an old tree that made for the perfect home, if not for a single wayward limb. A travelling outsider offered to cut it down, and from the wood he fashioned a bow. Together they would later form a village. Oh, cool. It wasn't the best wood, and it isn't much of a bow, but for Mother, it was a piece of home. For me, this bow is a piece of her. I... I thank you for returning it. If there's anything you need, I will do my best to help. I need a blessing. Then this truly must be fate for you to bring me this bow. I will do as you ask. I require a generous blessing. All right. As a city elf, this feels a bit odd, but I give you her blessing and mine. Thank you. After you broke about 50 times, but never mind. All right, and the last one is somewhere over here. Um. I don't know where the heck that is. Right, we'll head to the mine and see if we can figure out how to get there. My word, it's been a journey trying to get up this mountain. Seems to be a dragon there. I don't like the look of it. Jeez Louise. Gotta look at it. Hey. Greetings, traveler. It's not often we get visitors this far up the mountainside, but I'm sure Vahlokmir is pleased to have the company. I'm oh, sure he is. Uh, is. Is that dragon your pet? <laughs> Vahlokmir is not a pet. If anything, I am his. Uh, okay. Uh, ah, Vahlokmir must be his name. I'm familiar with the dragon tongue. Oh, do you speak dragon? How wonderful! Maybe that will get Vahlokmir talking. He's very loyal, but very shy. Um... Uh, 
Uh, I'm in need of Vaklamir's aid. Many folk would shy away from a dragon, but it is Vaklamir who shies from all. I am sorry, but he is not a weapon of war. I wish, uh, I only wish to use his spirit to channel the power of Akatosh. It is true that Vaklokmir is descended from Dragonfolk, but this does not make him a god. Actually, I just need a blessing from him. If Vaklokmir was the one to speak, I am sure he would. But perhaps again tell no, this is good enough? Vaklokmir, what say you? Do you bless this traveler? It seems to have worked. And... I think he likes you. Not many folk does he approve. Well, I trust you got what you came for. Goodbye. Whoa. See ya. Okay, let's head back to the... Uh, this place. Actually, we'll do that in the next episode, because I just know, looked at the time, and it's been an hour and 36 minutes. Woo, it's going to take forever to upload. Right. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.